गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर आर सी चौहान एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर सम्राट पृथ्वीराज चौहान गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज अजमेर टुडे विल बी डिस्कस एम एस सी फिजिक्स सेमेस्टर सेकेंड एंड द सेकेंड पेपर दैट इज क्लासिकल इलेक्ट्रोडाइनमिक्स एंड इट्स फर्स्ट यूनिट रिटेड विद द प्लेन वेव इन द नॉन कंडक्टिंग मीडियम ऑन द लास्ट टर्म we have discussed the impedance as well as the equations and the velocity of the wave in the non conducting medium today we will be continue for the pointing vector and after that we will be discuss the frequency dispersion characteristics of dielectric conductors and the plasma so start with pointing vector as earlier in the junior classes we have calculate we have discuss the pointing vector what is the definition of pointing vector the energy flow per unit from the media per unit time of the wave is equal to the pointing vector means per unit area per unit time that energy is equal to the pointing vector it may be for the media for the any surface so s equal to e cross h is the electric field h is the magnetic field now to calculate the pointing vector for the non conducting medium we can calculate from the h h equal to here earlier calculate h equal to 1 divided by mu 0 c multiplied by the n cap into the e vector where n cap is the direction of propagation which is proportional to the electric field as well as the h and c is the velocity of light mu 0 is the permeability of the media here that is equal to the vacuum so the for this one the pointing vector s vector equal to the e cross n k cross e divided by mu 0 c so using the identity a cross b cross c equal to the b dot a dot c minus c a dot b we can write this e vector cross n k cross e vector so this gives 1 divided by mu 0 c divided by the e dot e n k minus e dot n k e vector but here e vector dot n k equal to 0 because the direction between the e k and the direction of the propagation is proportional to each is at the because the electromagnetic wave are the transverse in nature so this e dot n k equal to 0 so this pointing vector equal to 1 divided by mu 0 c multiplied by the e 0 square n k but the wave impedance for the free space we have calculated the z 0 equal to the magnitude of the e by h and the magnitude of the e 0 by the h 0 and this is equal to the mu 0 c and that also equal to we substitute the value of the c equal to 1 divided by mu 0 mu not mu not epsilon not and this gives z 0 equal to root of the mu 0 by epsilon not that is the impedance of the free space so here this pointing vector equal to s vector equal to the e square by the z 0 multiplied by the n k in terms of the wave impedance of the electric field it is if we assume that the wave is propagating with the omega in lot can see then the weak average value of the s is can be calculated by for the complete cycle is equal to s average of the s equal to 1 by z0 multiplied by the average of the e square n cube but we know very well that the e is in the wave form so e equal to e0 e raised to power iota k dot r minus omega t so the e square average equal to the average of the e0 e raised to power iota k dot r minus omega t equal to square the real part of this one because real part for this one is the cos theta plus iota sin theta so the real part is cos square theta so uh, we know very well that the average of the cos square theta equal to 1 by 2 so the average of the energy square is e0 square by the 2 and here we know very well that e0 by 2 equal to 2 is called the erms so a time averaged energy density or for here this is The pointing vector equal to one by zero zero e zero square by the two n k. Or in the other form, we can also write s vector equal to one by zero zero e r m s square into the n k. What we can conclude? 
we can conclude that this pointing vector is equal depends on the wave impedance of the <coughs> wave and also the electric field and its direction is along the direction of the flow of the wave that is along the NK. This is all about the plane wave in the non-conducting medium. Now we switch over to the second topic for today that is the frequency dispersion characteristics of the dielectrics, conductors and the plasma. What is the introduction of it? Why we need the dispersion? Why we need the frequency dependence? In the absence of the dispersion, a wave propagates without any distortion because there is no dispersion. The wave is moving in the straight line and this can be there is no deviation from its path. It is found that for a limited range of the frequency velocity of wave propulsion treated as a constant. But in real life, for the any types of the medium, epsilon as well as the mu both depends on the omega, so the dispersion that's so the dispersion factor. Because we know very well that the frequency is depend is the function of the epsilon and the mu, that is both are function of the omega. So the both are different frequencies, there is a different dielectric constant and there is the different permittivity, permeability, so the property of the medium is changes, so this shows the dispersion effect. So we will be discuss this dispersion effect. To get an analysis, we use a simple model for it. So a simple model for the epsilon that is function of the omega. Omega is the frequency, epsilon is the permittivity. For the lower frequency range, epsilon are equal to the one for a medium, but when the frequency is higher effect, it arises the change in the epsilon as well as the mu. Because for the lower range of this one, there is no change with the linear just like that. But in the higher value, it will be dispersion. If the frequency of the applied field is increased, then the conducting electric electrons having their inertia, this so the decrease in conductivity with the increase in frequency. Because on increasing the frequency, conductivity is decreasing because the number of collisions really increases hence the damping is there so there is a damping force arises in the material due to the collisions between the electrons and lattice because if the frequency is high then more collisions will be there and this damping is responsible for the change in the value of this permittivity as well as the permittivity so the damping force as we have discussed in the mechanics in the using classes the force damping the directed function of the velocity and the this is equal to minus b m v b is the damping constant mostly we are using and here we can also use by the gamma m is the mass v is the velocity of the wave so if the e is the electric field if the, of the applied force on the electron then the e f applied equal to minus e into the e because charge of electron is the minus e so the equations for the electron for this media uh, like a force oscillator earlier we in calculations we use the net resultant force is equal to the restoring force plus the applied force plus the dampening force so the whole combination of the all types of the forces we can write m dv by dt plus the bmv or the gamma mv omega 0 square x equal to the minus e into the e that is the electric field is a function of the x and t here the first term is the net force second term the directed force of the velocity is called a damping force and third one that is depend on the omega square x is called the restoring force and the fourth that is on the right hand side that is the effect force on the electron so the m is the mass b equal to the gamma and i think option the omega 0 is the natural oscillating frequency of the electron when there is no applied force is there here we assume that amplitude of the oscillator is small and the effect of the b is negligible because why the b is effect on the b is negligible because we know very well that b equal to the e by c so if the c is very high so the value of the b is small if the solution of the equation third we assume that earlier in the junior classes e equal to e0 is e to power minus iota omega t iota is the imaginary quantity so the e equal to e0 e to power iota omega t what is the differential of it 
for this one we can write x equal to f0 raised to power at omega t dx by dt equal to minus i at omega x and that d to x by that dt is square equal to minus i at omega whole square into the x so this is given to minus omega s per x so the on rearranging we can all write m multiplied by the minus omega square x plus the gamma minus i at omega x plus omega 0 x equal to the minus e into e also we can take the common m into the x so the minus omega square minus i at omega gamma plus omega 0 square equal to minus e into e so using this one we can calculate the displacement due to this force x equal to minus e into e by the m omega 0 square minus omega square minus i at omega gamma so the electric dipole moment contributed by the one electron equal to the p equal to minus e into the x is very very well we know that that the dipole moment electric dipole moment is the any charge multiplied by that is contained in these two so this gives replacing the value of the x can obtain the dipole moment for the electrons e square by the m omega 0 square minus omega square minus i at omega gamma minus 1 power and that is equal to the multiple of the m if we consider the n molecules per unit volume and the z electrons per molecules or we see in the per molecules there are the j electrons are created in the materials n molecules are there per unit volume then instead of the single frequency there are the f i frequency electrons per molecules and the binding frequency omega identity constant is the gamma i for the particular case then the we can write for this case the athlon omega by the athlon equal to 1 plus chi e where the chi e the, we know very well that is susceptibility electric susceptibility and earlier we have calculated the, the dipole moment p equal to the n chi e into the e so the chi e equal to the e square by m minus multiplied by the omega square minus omega zero square minus i at omega gamma so substituting the value of the chi we can write the athlon omega divided by the athlon zero athlon zero means omega is negligible there is no effect at all but the e is the function of the omega so one plus n is square by the m plus the summation for the i that is f i omega g square minus omega square minus i at omega gamma of minus one where the sigma f i equal to this with the total three electrons in the molecules so what did so this so that for the individual electrons with the frequency of the oscillations is the omega i and it's the constant frequency is the omega zero then we say the permittivity is the changes of the media and due to this one this media will be responsible for the dispersion because if there is a permittivity permittivity is changes or the permittivity is changes then this will be give the dispersion effect so this is the responsible for the dispersion in the dielectric plasma and any conductors so for today this is sufficient thank you thank you very much have a good day